So today we will see how to prepare an interactive Gantt chart in Excel which will auto create the Gantt chart if you provide the start date, finish date and it will change the interval of the Gantt chart that is if you want to produce the Gantt chart for 2 days or 3 days or maybe 7 days or whatever the duration you like and it will also be able to track the progress of the work with respect to the plan. So this will look something like this. We have an interactive Gantt chart where we can change the interval. Here there is a task 1 which is a summary task and under this the subtask 1 and subtask 2 are there where we can put the plan date and achieve date and it will create the Gantt chart in the site. We can put the achieve date against the each plan date and it will create a Gantt chart of a different color of bar. Here you see the start date is 1st June and after that in an interval of 7 days the Gantt chart has been created but you can change it from this slider bar. You can make it of 6 days, 5 days, 4 days, 3 days or whatever duration you like. You have to create the slider like this and everything of this is done without any single line of VBA code. So now we will see step by step how to create a interactive Gantt chart like this. We will now create a basic bar chart that we have already learned in my other video. Here we WBS activity start date finish date duration in days for that particular activity. We will give the first date. But first date we will not type here. We will link it from the another cell. So the first date will be the Gantt chart start from date. The second date will be this date plus this uh, Gantt chart interval days. And we will continue say up to one month. You can add as many tasks or subtasks you want. We will put WBS number for this. And now we will put some start date finish dates. These are basically the planned start date and finish date for these tasks. So task 1 is a summary task so there will not be any first start date finish date for that. Instead we will put the subtask 1 start date as say 4 June 23. 14, 7, 23. Now the duration will be calculated from the start date and finish date. This finish date minus start date plus 1. So now we will create the bars. For creating the bar we will put a formula if and start date of any task is less than or equals to the current date and the finish date greater than or equals to the current date then this will put 1 in the cell otherwise it will be a 0. We have to fix the cells first before dragging it to the other cells. Now we have horizontally and vertically fixed the cells we will drag it throughout the duration and you will see in few cells there are 1 and in the other cells there are 0 as per the logic. So now to understand it better we will go to file options advanced we will make sure that show a 0 in cells that have 0 value it is checked off and we will press ok. We can now put the conditional formatting. We will do this conditional formatting for the cells that have a value of 1 
will make that font and cell color both the same and also we will do one thing that to change the color of the border also so that it gives a separator between two bars apply and okay now this will just copy the cells and will paste on the other cells now we will do some basic formatting of the table to look it more professional for the summary level tasks we will put the formula of minimum of the subtasks under that to find the start date and to find the finish date we will write the maximum of the end dates of the subtasks under this task the same thing will be copied and pasted here Okay. And the duration will be like the same the duration field will have some value only if both the start and finish dates are greater than 0 Now we will give a different color for the summary level tasks. We will have the same formula. We will just copy it from what we have already done. And we will go to the conditional formatting and manage rules. And then we will change the color. Whatever color do you want, you can put it here. Only thing the font and the fill color must be the same so that the ones are not visible so this same formula will be applied here also now we will incorporate one slider to change the intervals like here the interval is one day we have started from 1st of june and after that 2nd june 3rd june 4th june that is the interval is one day we can change it through the help of a slider to look it very much professional we can also change it from here like uh, we can give three here so these dates will be changed but we can do it with the help of a slider to look it more professional to go to the developer tab if in your excel the developer tab is not visible then you have to go to file then options and from there customize ribbon and from here you have to check this checkbox and make it ok so the developer tab you go to insert and from here the form controls you select one scroll bar and then make a scroll bar here now right click on the scroll bar go to format control and then link the cell this one then again you go to the minimum value which you want and the maximum value can be anything 
you like I am putting it here as 7 and page change make it 1 click on ok so now what happens here the value will change with the help of this slider and the bar also will be changed at the side you see here is 1 so 1 1st June 2nd June 3rd June 4th June and after that we make it 2 so it becomes 1st June 3rd June 5th June that is the interval has increased to 2 even if we want to get a weekly chart then we can make it like this to look it further professional we will insert one more row here display the day of that particular date so you see the formula I have added here and now just drag it to the end you see with the scroll bar the dates and days and bar chart everything is changing so it have it has become completely interactive now we will put the achieved dates against the planned dates we have already created the sales for that and say the subtask one was supposed to start on 4th of june and to complete by 14th of july but it started on 5th of june and completed on say 21st of July so this will also reflect in the bar chart so till now the grid lines are visible now we will off it also and it will be a completely different look a very good one now what we will do the bar chart formula is same we will copy it from the row above it the plan row and what we will do is to go to home and conditional formatting a new rule format only cells that contain this will be equals to 1 and let us put green color for fill and font both ok and it has created a new line new color now this green color will represent the achieved dates of the subtask one we will now do what to copy it from here and paste it against the other achieved rows where there is no date there will be no bar once you put the date say you put it 1st july 23 to 15th august 23 but there is no bar why because the duration is now up to 29 June only so if we change the date like this then you see the August is now in picture and so is the bar chart against the achieved bar so now we have a complete interactive bar chart where we can change the start date that is if we want to get the planning of the month of august only then we can start the gantt chart from 1st august and we can move back the scroller to the interval day as one now you see you are having the bar chart of the month of august it is starting on the day 1st august and it is ending on 29th august okay uh, we will just add two more days here So everything should be dragged for two more days you can increase the interval here and it will be up to September so up to September the bar will also be available from here so if you have liked this video please share and subscribe to our channel thank you